Hi children, this is your social ma'am. Today we are going to see your geography part. That is our environment. Chapter 1, environment. See the next slide children. So these are all the contents we are going to learn in this chapter. What is environment? Components of environment. Natural environment. Human environment. So in this natural environment we are going to learn domains of the environment and what is ecosystem what is environment environment means our surroundings it may be the place people things and nature it provides the air we breathe the water we drink the food we eat and the land we live. See the next slide children. Components of environment. What are the components we are going to learn? Natural component, human made and human. So these three are the components of environment. Natural, human made and human. So see this natural environment. In this natural environment, we are going to learn that biotic and abiotic organisms. So it refers both biotic and abiotic conditions existing on the earth. What does mean by abiotic? Abiotic means non-living things such as water, soil, air, minerals and light. What does mean by biotic organisms? Biotic means living things, plants and animals. So land, water, air, plants and animals are the part of our natural environments. So in this natural environment we are going to learn the domains of the environments. What are the domains? Lithosphere, hydrosphere, biosphere, and atmosphere. So, what does mean by lithosphere? Lithosphere means the solid part of the earth. It consists of three main layers crust, mantle, and core. For example, the land portions of the earth we can call it as lithosphere. For example, mountain. What does mean by hydrosphere? Hydrosphere means the water area. All the water on are near the earth's surface. What are the water sources we can have? Oceans, lakes, rivers and a lot of things. See the next one, atmosphere. What does mean by atmosphere? The atmosphere is the thin layer of air surrounding the earth. See the next one, biosphere. Biosphere means the combination of atmosphere, hydrosphere and lithosphere. These three provide a living environment to the living organisms that we can call it as biosphere see in this natural environment we are going to learn ecosystem what does mean by ecosystem the relation between the living organisms as well as the relation between the organisms and their surroundings form an ecosystem that means all plants animals and human beings depend on their immediate surroundings that we can call it as ecosystem see the next one human environment what does mean by human environment it refers humans activities creations and 
interactions among human beings and also human beings interact with the environment and modify it according to their need and also humans found a way to use and change the environment so what are the changes we are doing now in production industrial revolution that is trading import and export transportation information revolution yes still we are using high speed internet yes this is made by the human improve your knowledge identify the water resources of our earth remember the land forms of the earth what you have studied in your 6th standard study the layers of atmosphere please refer the net and study the layers of atmosphere check your knowledge children what are the components of an environment give one example for lithosphere and hydrosphere say some example for man made environment dash is the thin layer of air that surrounds the earth imagine and draw one simple ecosystem thank you children